L here to do a quick reading about money for you, career, finance, money. We're going to go through it all. I did a reading and it was not recording, so let's jump back into it. Uh, thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with the reading about their career, finance, money all together. Truth, clarity coming for the Aquarius. Thank you. All right, so if you're here, like, share, comment, subscribe, get your questions answered. Um... That's a whole nerd spiel. Anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah. If you need to get in contact with me, all links are below. Okay. Anyhow, let's see what's going on for Aquarius with their money. So we had a really good reading. You, it did record. So here we are. Self-employment came out. It was the first card that came out. All right. Some of you need to do something for yourself, okay? Um, you know that you need to work for yourself. You know you have something to offer the world. Self-employment. So you need to employ something about yourself. You need to give it to the world because then you can then receive, you know, uh, the monetary um, reciprocation that you need to survive, okay? But it's something about putting yourself out there, Aquarius. Self-employment. You're, you keep leaning on other people to employ you. Some people see you as a threat. Some people see you as overqualified. Some people see you how you don't see yourself. They see you as on fire. They see you as dynamic. Um, and, you, and, and they're looking at you like you want to be a part of this uh, company, this cooperation, this organization. Wow. Why? You know, look at who you are. I don't know. It's like... You, 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 you don't see yourself through the eyes of how other people see you. So you might need to look into self-employment. Self-employment. Also, in order to do self-employment here with these all these pink flowers, you need to heal some part of you. It's like maybe you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe you can do it. Or you don't believe that you can capitalize on it. Make money, right? Let's see. What is this about for family changes? You feel like, okay, if I do self-employment, everything is going to have to change. My family dynamic um, it's going to change everything for everybody. Maybe your family depends on you and you feel like, oh, I need this good sturdy job for when Uncle Charles calls and asks me for $100 and for when my mama need her medicine and when my daddy need and when my cousin and, and my child this and maybe the child is grown. You know, you just got all of these. It's like a, you just run the gamut of why you shouldn't and you really don't run the gamut of why you should. It's self there. So self being the operative word. You need to focus on self. You need to do something for self. Maybe you've been doing too much for family. Okay? Um, maybe you're a part of some family business and you want to do your own thing. Being a part of this family business has made you feel depressed at nature or, or suppress. Suppress your own desires. Um, let's see what else is going on. Okay. Yeah, you're stronger than you know. Maybe you just don't believe in yourself. You you can do it. It's going to take hard work, effort. You know, yeah, effort. Um, consistency. Dutiful repetition. I heard that one time when I was meditating. And I was asking spirits, like, how can I learn all of this stuff that I'm reading in these books? Dutiful repetition. So you got to be, like, you know, your duty you got to go into it with the mind of, um, I'm going to get it. And you have repetition, so you got to do it more than once. So something about something that you're doing or you want to do or embark on, you have to do it over and over and over again. Dutiful repetition. You're stronger than you know. Then you're giving yourself credit for it. Again, back to you not seeing yourself how other people see you. Let's see what's going on for career, finance, work, or Aquarius, sentimental feelings. I get some leftover feelings from something that happened in the past. Maybe you took a big L in the past, or it looked like you took an L. You had to lose everything to gain everything again. Um, maybe you took an L. Maybe you lost a business. Maybe you had to sell a business. Maybe you had to transition. Maybe you lost a home. Maybe lo the list goes on and on. And the sentiment um, from that loss is still there. It still resides with you. Now, are you super emotional about it to this day? No. Um, but the sentiment of that loss is still it still resides with you to the point where you are not making forward movement in regards to self and self-employment 
because you're scared of, well, what if that thing happens again? It's like the scary boogeyman in the closet. It's like you want a guarantee for something that you're going to do. There are no guarantees in life except for death and taxes, right? Yeah, it's like you won't make the decision here. You need to make some decisions. That means you need to cut out some stuff. You want to do everything. You want to do all things. You want to be in every pot. You want the, it says decision. Cut some stuff away. This is the only way you're going to perfect what you do. Let's see what else is going on for the Aquarius here. What else is going on for Aquarius? Yeah, parental care. I told you, some of you taking care of people, grown ass people. This could be your parents. This could be your grown children. This could be man, woman in your house, not working, looking at you to take care of everything. Um, also, some of you feel like you, you didn't get the parental care that you needed. You didn't get the knowledge, the upbringing about money and your relationship with money that you needed from your parents. Maybe you came out of poverty, uh, impoverished uh, mindset. It's like you're trying to transform all of that, okay? Some of you, again, you got parents you're taking care of. So maybe you're doing something for yourself. It, again, it's going to affect the whole family changes with parental care. Some of you are going to have to downsize, let something go, sacrifice something. Nothing, what is it? Nothing gained, nothing, nothing lost, nothing gained, something like that. So you've got to make some sacrifice in regards to get what you want. You can't take it all with you. You can't have it all right now. You might have to make some sacrifice. You might have to buckle down. You might have to cut out the $6 lattes every day. Um, maybe you can get it once a week. I don't know. You know You know what sacrifices you need to make so that you can get where you want to be. Uh, maybe you're going to have to do some sleepless nights. You want to get eight hours every night, but you also want to be a millionaire. You want to have your own business, and you want to do this, and you want to drive that, and you want to live here. Let me know how that works out for you. Um, let's see. Yeah, be true to you, Aquarius, because it's like, oh, this is saying, like, you just keep giving. You, you're projecting outwards and giving, 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 and you're not receiving um, enough back. And you feel like if you just keep doing, um, that you, some of you had this complex, like, if I just keep giving and giving and giving in the universe, God sees me giving, 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 then um, I'm going to be re rewarded, I'm going to be rewarded for giving. This, it, 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 there's, a, there's a scripture that talks about casting your pearls to the swine, so throwing what is precious away to things or people, situations that could care less for it. That t take no value in it. Throwing pearls to pigs, to swine. Pigs don't care about pearls. You're throwing it away to things and situations that will not reciprocate. They can't give you anything back. They don't care for what you just give in them. They don't care that it's valuable. So some of you are doing things for people who just don't care and they could never reciprocate. And God, spirit, universe, whatever you believe in is looking at you like, for I told you, if you read my word, I'm telling you, stop casting your pearls to the swine. Give to things that reciprocate. Again, marrying the practical with the spirituality, it is unpractical, it is impractical for you to say that, okay, I'm going to play the lottery each and every day. I'm going to take my hard-earned money and buy lottery tickets. I'm going to cast my pearls to the swine. There's a how, What's the chances of you winning? Look that up. Look at the ratio. Look at the numbers. They aren't in your favor. So it's like you're casting pearls to the swine. You're doing something that is adverse to wisdom, firstly, and to your well-being, secondly. You give it to something that just ain't giving back, and it will never give back to you. you got to be true to you. So it's, it's about, so the last, first card was self-employment, and the last card is be true to you. So two cards that talk about you. You, self, you. And some of you want to get all this money, you want to get all this stuff, and you want to get all of this so that you can give it to family. And these people probably don't even care for you, and they wouldn't do the same for you. And the universe is like, well, we can't give that to you just yet because we want you to get out from. We want you to get away from. I don't know, that's a message for somebody. Let's see at the bottom of the, yeah, grief work. I need to do some grief work. You need to talk to a counselor. You need to go through the gamut, run the gamut of your emotions in regards to loss or somebody taking something from you. Or, um, 
somebody derailing you and your position, your life, the tra the trajectory of your life. Like you were supposed to go this way and somebody did something to make you go that way. And that way wasn't the best way, right? Um, let's go ahead and clarify. Whoa, sorry, popping out, all right? Judgment, yeah. Okay, so listening, hearing the call, listening to it and following the call, the call, the call, the universe is calling you to something else, to something higher than you, to ascension, to ascend, okay? Let me put that back in there and um, we'll keep going. Some of you hear the call, but you ain't doing nothing. It's like, oh, I don't know about that. You, you know, fear, doubt. Yep, ten of wands. Some of you are in um, some overworking yourself, and you don't have to. This is excuses hiding behind busyness. Also, I'm I'm too busy to do. I ain't got this, and they doing this, and I got to take care of. Look at all those ones: mama, daddy, sister, brother, cat, dog. behind busyness so that you won't put yourself first but thinking that the universe is going to bless you because you keep throwing stuff away to people who care less about you mm, let's see or giving it or or giving your time over to things that aren't reciprocating it's like you, you oh this is like the inability to pivot so you've been doing something for far too long and you won't go the other way like, it's not working, so go the other way. Or do something else. All right, let's see. Self-employment. 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 Okay, the nine of wands came out in reverse. So, um, upright, it would talk about, um, so upright, it talks about you know, not giving up, persevering. Every day being a struggle. Oh, so it says that if you do something for yourself, it doesn't, it won't feel like a struggle. The world in reverse behind that. Some of you aren't choosing to mature, matriculate, to close a door. Some of you want to have it have both you want to have a nine to five and you want to be self-employed all at the same time you're only but one person it's like you won't what is this spirit you have five of swords self-sabotage aggressive failure defeat some of you aren't over the failure or the defeat of being self-employed before. Maybe you had to close a business, it ended, or you didn't make money, or you put a lot of money out. This keeps you stuck in your mentality. It keeps you defeated with the five of swords. Okay. What else can we talk? Okay. It keeps you five of pentacles. Three of pentacles, two of swords. What you don't see on the other side of this is, is if you choose yourself, if you choose self-employment, um, the universe blessing you with um, high quality work, with great partnership, um, big financial reward, recognition, two of swords. Wow. The temperance card. Um, a wealthy, healthy partnership, marriage. Um, balance. You may feel out of balance, off kilter, out of whack, working for somebody else. But you got the mindset that you want to be self-employed or that you need to go into self-employment, but you just failure to make the decision with the two of swords. You keep negotiating, compromising with yourself. And you gotta go like balls to the wall. You just gotta go in there. 
especially if you want to get out of just having enough. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Something about you keeps you stuck. You won't do the grief work that comes with having taken this loss. Yeah, wow. I can't make this shit up and heal from the past. Something happened. All you need to do is get the knowledge that you need to move forward. Wow. And forgive yourself. Because there is support. Money coming to you. And also support of others and the universe. Be true to you, Aquarius. Be true to you. Be true to you. The nine of cups. Do what you want. If you want to live a lap of luxury. If, if you like nice things. Don't beat yourself up about it. Understand that you. You aren't the sum total of those nice things. You know you're, you're so much more. But at the same time. If you like them you like them. If that's what you want you want it. It's, it's something about beating. Yeah justice. Um, being fair. Just. Repayment, being balanced. Something's all out of balance, out of whack. You be giving too much to, to situations that, again, aren't given to you. Giving is up here. Giving to everybody else up here. Giving to yourself is down here. And it's just like, you gotta be balanced here, you know, with the justice card. You know that you need to make some decision and do what you really want to do and go after your dreams and stop giving to other companies, organizations, people, places, things, time, energy. Wow, with the Ten of Cups. Your hard work will pay off once you choose to give to yourself, once you choose to do for yourself. There might be somebody who approaches you with um, a business idea, right? And um, it's going to be very... It could be successful. It just says look over the contracts or look over the paperwork or look over the details. You can have fortune after this very difficult time period in your life. Things can balance out. Justice card says that, you know, life is going to come into like um, a rhythm here. Whoa, you about to get harvest, Aquarius. Seven of Pentacles, and you can feel it with the High Priestess. It's going to allow you to do life on your own terms. Ten of Pentacles can't make it up with the Knight of Pentacles. Just because some of you have been true to yourself and stuck to yourself and stuck to your guns and not giving up in terms of self-employment or doing for yourself or on your dream, even when others said it was a pipe dream or you weren't going to make it or you weren't going to do nothing or, or you couldn't do it. This is long-term goal achievement. This is the transference of wealth. Wealth also can be knowledge. You know, um, this is also um, inheritance. This could be spiritual inheritance that allows you to get money, make money. This is you being dedicated, loyal, devoted to your goals. Wow, this is pu public recognition. This is stability, queen of pentacles, um, different streams of income. This is something that brought a lot of conflict before it brought resolution. You're about to be the talk of the town, the subject of gossip. You also need to go and get some knowledge about. Somebody's going to want to know how you manifested all of this, how you did it, where are you channeling from, where are you getting this from, who you're speaking with. You might even have people under you that you're showing the way, the page of cups. Um, you're listening to your spirit guides, intuition uh, for messages. You could be getting messages in your dreams, vivid dreams happening for you. There is hidden enemy here. Somebody that maybe you were in cahoots with, relationship with, they feel like they missed out on opportunity with you. Now, yeah, they're going to be heartbroken, but y'all aren't speaking. Because um, something about public, you can be in the public's eye, and this, pe this person or people are going to see you. Let's, let's close um, Aquarius out in terms of career and finance. This could even be a boss. Um, like you leaving one job, going to another. Career, finance, money. Career, finance, just money overall. Whoa, I can't make it up. Aquarius, you are resourceful. 
That means there's a, a well inside of you. You know how to draw from that well and bring out those resources. Some of you are all talking, no action, okay? Don't be that way. Don't be that way. Okay, let's see. Some of you are have been a part of carnality, sex, drugs, cars, you know, image, status. Come out of that. Let your self-employment, let you wanting to be self-employed um, be for the betterment, of course, of yourself, but others. Some of you, magic. The king of pentacles coming out. Some of you doing magic to bring in money. Somebody did black magic around your money or just to hold your money to, to stop you. you know? But you are safe. Safe in the arms of the Lord. There was somebody here who's going to see you and they're going to want you back. Friends with benefits. There was a, an affiliation that you had, whether it was romantic, platonic, business or whatever. This person was holding you back, right? This friends with benefits relationship was holding you back from bringing in, you know, the money, the abundance that you deserve, your inheritance in this earth. Um, what they were doing to you, saying to you, making... Oh, Keeping you stuck was holding you back altogether. By March, you're going to see some significant change. Or maybe your birthday is in March or something significant in March. Or I don't know. I don't see March. Loving. Oh, you could be loving your life and loving your career. I'm, I couldn't make it up. Didn't I say this? Didn't I say this? There's going to be a lot of gossip about you. You're going to be a subject of gossip. Right, because you stop loving or you stop putting love in two situations that was not reciprocating. You stop waiting for something to reciprocate. And you knew that these people were El Tipo. They were going to give you just enough to keep you coming back and giving more and throwing stuff at them. And This is beautiful, Aquarius. You're going to be true to you. Put more time, energy, effort into what you want, how you want to do it. And it looks like you're going to get that transference of wealth. The universe now say, okay, we can open up doors for you because we know that you are not going to share it with those who we do not agree with, those who do not agree with your purpose, those who you should not be aligned with. And I was reading um, um, the books of Maccabees, and the, the, peop the Hebrew people kept having you know, trouble with all these people around them because they wanted to assimilate firstly with these people and they, they wanted to live alongside of and they wanted to be in the midst of people who didn't care for them, people who didn't want the best for them. And every time they thought, the Hebrew people thought that it would be okay, they would be okay, these people turned on them in the worst way. Aquarius, that might be your, um, that might be your story. Uh, Diamante, I don't know, some of you may know how to pronounce that, but I got this when I was making these cards. Um, it, it talks about a fake, fake jewelry, costume jewelry, uh, or jewelry um, adorned with or decorated with, with, with false diamonds. So somebody is false, okay? Fake, okay? Uh, All together. Um, somebody came up with some plan to steal from you, steal your money. They, they saw you as resourceful. Somebody was doing something. Let's see. What else? Um, apply. Apply yourself. Apply to that. Uh, position apply uh, to that um, group uh, like-minded individuals the KTMG keep the momentum going monthly conference call when you're around like-minded uh, business individuals each and every month apply it just says apply Aquarius apply yourself don't be all talk and no action I can't make it up there was some weasel around you a deceitful treacherous person and they wanted to gain achievement by using by being cunning or deceitful. They were slick, slippery, a sneak and a sly. Okay, slip, sleek, okay, can't say that fast. All right, yep, that's what they were. A weasel. They may even be trying to weasel their way back into your life because we see at the end of this, when you start to be true to yourself, when you start to put yourself out there, you see these people trying to come back and uh, weasel their way back into your life. But look who they are. They are Diamante or Diamante. I don't know. Somebody let me know how to pronounce it. Or maybe I can just go to Google. Right? Um, when it's darkest, black, 
It might have been pitch black for you in your life. You might have been in a low place. You might have lost a lot, Aquarius. But it says when it's darkest, out of the dark comes the light. That's what I'm talking about, Aquarius. You're about to have a beautiful life. You're going to be loving your life maybe by March. 2023, we're claiming March 2023, not 2024, not 2025, but 2023. You're going to be loving your life, all right? Let's see what's happening for Aquarius. And I knew this was coming up. The big payback, Aquarius. Pay to the order of, you about to see, receive that big check. It's yours. Um, Pablo coming out. So we could have somebody who is uh, um, uh, Hispanic descent um so pablo means little it's also in english it's paul and it's um it was it means small and humble it's a boy's name oh i just heard somebody the, the you okay universe god spirit whatever you believe in is humbling your enemy making them small they thought they was big especially somebody who was doing something behind your back their name could be Pablo or Paul, or it could be, I don't know. They are little, but they're being, they're being made small. Some of you could be having a boy, or you had a boy, you're going to name him Pablo, Paul. Somebody thought they was on top because they was doing some black magic. Because sometimes I get the king of pentacles on this black magic with the moon showing up here. Somebody was doing black magic behind your back on your money, on your resources, just on you in totality, right? And you kind of got wind to it and you started to protect yourself. And now um, the, the God is making this person small. They thought they was big. Maybe they were living large and you were in the black. You were in the dark, you know? But now they might be made small. Let's see what's happening. What else? Last card. Their name or any of these letters could be associated with their name. First, last. So we got A, T, C, K, W, R, E. Yeah, this person going to try to come back into your life, Aquarius. Close the door. I'm um, boo. You didn't want me when I was broke, when I was this, when I was that, when I was in trans transition. Just stay where you're at. It's cool. It's cool. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. <laughs> but so this is what I have for you Aquarius it looks like for career and finance the universe is really propelling you to do your own thing self-employment employ yourself employ those gifts that you have within yourself because you are resourceful Aquarius you have a well inside of you waiting to sprout waiting to just you know be turned on okay um, be true to yourself start giving more to yourself Start doing what you want to do and stop living for everybody else. And once you do that, it looks like you start to love your life. Um, the big payback is coming to you because there was some weasel, okay? Some weasel um, in the background doing something to you. But they're about to be made small, okay? Uh, I just always get attack. I know that doesn't spell attack, but I was, I don't know, they were like attacks. You need to apply yourself and you need to apply for something, Aquarius. You need to um, be around the energy of moving forward. Somebody is fake, okay? False, fake. Um, look over all documentation because somebody could be trying to cheat you or give you something like falsehood. Stop giving the situations um, that don't serve you. Friends with benefits are most time situations that when it ends... What do you take with it? Not much. You know, you had some, some wild nights, some good sex. Maybe you ate at a nice restaurant or two. Maybe they took you out of town. What do you really take with that? You know, take away from them. You got wasted time. You've got hurt feelings. And the friends with benefits also could be, you can just kind of um, um, interchange that with, with family. Family with benefits. They want to be your family or they want you a part of the family because you benefit them. You're giving. You're throwing. You're casting pearls to the swine. All right. And this could even be um, like a literal friend group. Maybe they want to be your friend because it's a benefit. You are a benefit, Aquarius. Benefactor is what I got. 
Somebody wanted you to just give, give, give because they saw you as resourceful, 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 and they wanted to give as little bit as possible. Wow, they saw you as security. And look, look, can't make this shit up. They were never there for you. Or if you called out on them now, they could not be uh, there for you. If you needed them right now, they could not, you know, show up in the capacity that you needed them. But they feel safe with you. And you're just miserable in that relationship. Or you may have left them somewhere. And now they're in some type of relationship where they're miserable. They may even need your help. You let somebody create their own hell for themselves by just going your own way. Or this is what you need to do. This is what I have for you, Aquarius, in terms of your money and your career. Many blessings to you. Thank you. If you want to get your own personal reading about your career, your finances, what's holding you back, what's holding you up, go over to the website, book your reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And tonight, I'm going to um, answer some free questions for you, okay? So come tonight, get your questions answered for free, all right? Um, click the like and the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified when I go live tonight and uh, you'll show up, right? Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.